So as we know that in last class we have been studied uh, what is electronic configuration. Is it yes or no? So if you notice it electronic configuration, what do you mean by electronic configuration? Proper arrangement of electrons. Is it yes or no? Proper arrangement. Electrons in cells is only known as electronic configuration. So now you will notice it. So as we know that every atom is having different number of cells. Some atoms is having only one cell, some atom is having two cells, and some atom is having three cells, like in the sense of some elements. It is keep on increasing, and some elements is having even more than three cells also. So that cells we used to represent with the K, L, M, N, O, and as well as P. R is we used to represent with the what? K, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the elements which is having only K cell, only K cell, and the elements is having, for example, this one is having K and L cell, then it is having K, L, M. Then in this, what is the valency cell? The valency cell, only one cell is present. The cell is called as K cell. K cell. No. So valency cell we used to talk now. So only one cell is present, then K cell is the valency cell. If two cells are there, one, what is the valency cell? L cell is the valency cell. And if three cells are there, what is the val valency cell? M cell is the valency cell. Is it yes or no? Please respond. So now, yes, sir. as we know that, Whatever the capacity, we have been found the number of electrons which we can fill, maximum number of electrons which we can fill in cell, which is equals to 2m square. So that is what? 2, 2 into 1 square, which is equals to 2. Same way, we will follow 8, 18, next one, 32, 50, and as well as 72. Like this, the number of electrons will fall. So, but this is what the maximum capacity. Now, whatever the cell, whatever the cell is the valency cell, then if you'll notice it, the maximum number of electrons which we can fill, except for K cell, the maximum number of electrons which we can fill in how many? If only eight electrons. Eight electrons. Eight. So this is only ways to say inert gas electronic configuration, inert gas electronic configuration, or we can say it is stable gas electronic configuration. So now except other than K cell, other than K cell is present, then the maximum number of electrons which we can fill from the L cell, L, M, N, O, P, Q, whatever it is, only eight is possible. So this eight is only wish to called as octave rule. So we, we, with the help of this rule, we can find what is the valency of the given atom of an element. So for example, so this valency, valence electrons, how it will vary is, if you keep on moving, valence electrons will vary from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Understand, this is what the valency, valence electrons is keep on increases. Valence electrons. Do you understand? Valence electrons. So now you can notice it here. Some elements is having valency is 1. Some elements is having valence electrons 2. Some elements, valence electrons, how many guys? Three, some elements valence electrons four, and some elements valence electrons five. Some are having six, and like that six, seven, and some are having eight. Now, those who are having eight, this all we used to call as what we used to call except helium. Everything we used to call as noble gases or stable gases or inert gases or zero valency electron, zero valency elements. What we used to call? Zero valency elements. Understand everybody what I'm saying? So zero valency elements we can say. So now, except K shell, except helium, if you take for example, any any noble gases, anybody can give the, any example of noble gases? You can take argon, for example, argon. neon. Argon. Very good. Neon you can take. So neon electronic configuration, if you will see, it is a 10. Is it SR no guys? So it is having how we can write 10 means k and l cell is there so 2 comma 8 is present same way if we'll take argon so argon what is that 18 yes or no please respond 
So it is a 2.8. So how it will come electronic configuration? You should speak. 2.8. A L comma M, so which is used to come what two comma eight comma eight. So like that, it will keep on going. Neon, argon, krypton, krypton, xenon, radon. So these are all the things. Whatever it is, the last cell, the outermost cell. How many electrons is to come? Eight electrons is to come everywhere. So this is only what is to called as stable gas electronic configuration. So if any element. If it is having eight electrons in its outermost cell, then we can say it is what it is, guys. It is a stable in nature. Yes or no? Please respond. That is what you have to remember. Ma, somebody called to Sruti. That is. So now, if you notice it, this is what. So, for example, if other than this one, helium, if you we'll take helium, how many electrons? What is the electronic configuration of helium? K. It is having only. Two electrons it is having. So by what I said, if only having one one cell, that cell is K. Then maximum number of electrons, how many we can fill? Two electrons. Then this is also will become what? It will become stable in nature. Mm -hmm. This is what I told you. Yes or no? So this is rule only we used to call it as. What is this rule name called as? Duplet rule. Understand? So except to helium, remaining all the noble gases is. Eight electrons in its outermost cell. So their valency. What is the valency of this one? Valency of this one. What? Valency. Valence electrons are eight. But what is the valency? Zero. Valency equals to zero. Mm -hmm. That is what you have to remember. So now, if you notice it very carefully, valency in the sense of what do you mean by valency? Means according to the general words. Means in the sense of how many how many electrons are electrons. Can atom, can atom, either donate, either donate, or receive, or receive, or we can say share, <coughs> share with the other atoms. That is what we used to say. Other atoms is only called as valency. So now. This is what how to find with the help of duplet and octave rule. So also simple meaning if you want valency means we can say combining capacity means in the sense of how many bonds it will form with the other elements. Do you understand, Ra? Everybody, because who is involving in chemical reaction always? Who is involving in chemical reaction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only yeah, yeah. electrons is involving. No other thing is involved in the. Things okay. So Lakshya Kal to Sruti. So now only uh, only electrons are involving in any kind of reaction. So now that is why this we can say a combining combining capacity combining capacity of an element is only called as what we used to call valence. valence. Okay? Now let us take as I told you for more every atom the valence electrons how they will vary is. Some atoms is having valence electrons. What valence electrons? How they are having one valence electron, two valence electron, three valence electron, four valence electron, five valence electron, six, seven, and eight. This is valence electrons. Yes or no? Please respond. Now, if we we'll take valency, notice it. Those who are having only one electron in its outermost cell. By the time, what is outermost cell, guys? Anybody can say. If it is having only one electron, what is the outermost cell? Sai, Sakti, K, K cell. So at this time, at this time, they will donate this electron itself. Understand? So this electron itself, and they will get the positive charge by donating the those elements. Those are having valency of one in its valency cell. Then only one electron K cell. And if it is having more than one cell also. Outermost cell is having one, then its valency is plus one. So it will lose the electron or gain the electron by losing. Understand? So now two electrons also, it will lose the two electrons and it will get the positive charge. And three electrons also, it will lose the three electrons and it will get what? Three units of positive charge. 
Understand? So, for example, you can take, so this one, you can take hydrogen plus. Hydrogen already having one electron. It will lose that electron also and it will turn into completely positive. Understand? And yes, sir. you can take sodium. Sodium, what it is? It will donate one electron and will turn into plus one. You can take potassium. It will donate one electron turn into plus. Now, two electrons. You can take, uh, next one, you can take magnesium. Understanding? Calcium. This all sir, is... Helium. Yes, sir. Helium also. Sir. Helium won't come because helium is a valence is stable. Zero, it is. Understand? Oh, okay, sir. So now three, if you take aluminium, you can take. So aluminium valence is three plus. Yes, sir. No. So that is what. So now if you take the four, so four neither loss or gain. So it is sharing electrons. Do you understand everybody? So it is sharing electron. So that is what it is only will form. Understand Ra? So this is only sharing electron. So we cannot say valence is plus or minus four. Do you understand everybody? Please respond. So if four electrons is there, either losing also same, gaining also same. That is what it will follow with the sharing. If five electrons are there, then the valence is 8 minus 5, which is equal to how much? Ra? Minus 3. So actually it is 3, we have to say, but it is gaining electrons, so that only ways to represent the minus. Is it okay, everybody? Receiving electrons. Please respond. Receive. Yes, Next, if we'll take 6, we'll apply with which principle? Do uh, What is that principle, Ra? Octave rule, understanding 8 okay. minus 6, which is equal to minus. So minus indicate yeah. what? Minus 2. Minus yeah. indicate gaining. what? Minus yeah. indicate yeah. receiving or accepting or gaining electrons. That is what? Understand, Ra? So receiving electrons or accepting electrons. If it is having 7, then what it is? If it is having 7, what it is? Please respond. If it is having minus seven, 1. Minus 1. What it is? So 7. Minus one. One. So 8 minus 7, which we can say minus 1, same way, if it is having 8 electrons, 8 minus 8, which is equals to what? 0. zero. Understanding? So 0 valency. So 0 valency, or if it is having only 2 electrons in its KCL, then also we can say valency is what? Valency is 0. Do you understand, Ra? So this is what? So examples of this one, you can take helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon, we can take it as a noble gases. So if you want to take it as a, uh, this one, helium, minus one, can anyone say minus one? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, minus one. If you take two, you can take oxygen. So O2 minus, you can take, and the next one, oxygen family, who is there? Down, I also forgot. Yeah. yeah, so okay, so oxygen, same way minus 3 if you take, so nitrogen, so N3 minus you can take, so this is what we used to say, example, so if we want to share in 4 electrons, who is the example, best example, carbon, understand, so carbon is the best example of sharing of electrons, do you understand Ra? So from this I can say valency how it is increasing and how, how it is decreasing, valency varies from plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 and 4 and again minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and 0. So this is what, so valency is increases till 3, till 4 and after that again it is decreases to 0. Is it okay everybody? Please respond. This is what we used to call as valence electrons and as well as valency any doubt guys please no yes no doubt, sir. I you how to remember it so now this is if you'll notice it here as i told you so here first three valency you'll notice it plus one plus two plus three this is forming by what this is forming by what donating electrons what is that donating, donating. Electrons. understand so now same way, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, it is forming what? By accepting or receiving electrons. Understand? Yes or no? Please respond. It is receiving electrons. It is one is by donating electrons, another one is receiving electrons. So now middle what it is? 
middle what it is actually it is the sharing electron so and last one is what stable thing stable are inert gases so if you notice it this is only cause of chemical reaction so what is the cause of chemical reaction if somebody will ask so the cause of chemical reaction is a three ways so a uh, one atom an atom can achieve the inert gas electronic configuration so every atom in this universe they are basically unstable understand so everything everybody even we people will discuss we want to get job we want to get a good life we want to get good home and all like that then only i will become stable draw then only i will become my three from tensions like that will say correct so you will like that every atom except in the gases so they all will try to become more and more stable by uh, having the electron arrangement of inert gas means somehow by you by using uh, by gaining or losing or sharing they will try to get more stable and they are try how they will become stable guys the only way is either they can achieve eight electrons in its valence cell or they can achieve two electrons in its valence cell but the two electrons when i can say only pradosh only it is having k shell do you understand so remain except k shell remaining all they must have a, how many electrons in its valence cell valence cell is having valence cell then it is becoming stable in nature so every unstable atom by losing or by gaining or by sharing somehow they used to get the electrons understanding by uh, somehow and they will become eight electrons in its valence cell other than only k shell is present then that is only cause of chemical reaction so every chemical every, every chemical combination is only because of what guys by somehow understanding by losing by gaining or by sharing with another atom they will try to get the inert gas electronic configuration that is only the is the cause of chemical combinations understand everybody so please all of you write cause of chemical combination <coughs> cause of cause of chemical combination <coughs> so what is the cause of chemical combination lakshya have you called to shruti samaya manya are ready write it it's here but she didn't accept it mm -hmm. not valid right the atom combined with one one another the atom combined with one another the atom combined with one another to achieve the inert gas electron arrangement to achieve the to achieve the inert gas electron arrangement to achieve the inert gas electron arrangement <laughs> to achieve the inert gas electron arrangement to achieve the inert gas electron arrangement and become and become more stable and become more stable and become more stable so when atoms combine to form chemical compounds so when atom combines to form chemical compounds brother so is absent in boys boys are there present शक्ति शक्ति नाट मुगेश करेक्ट ओके राइट रिमेनिंग ऑल आर देयर राइट या सो व्हेन आटम कंबाइन टू फॉर्म केमिकल कंपाउंड्स दे डू दे डू सो इन सच ए वे दैट दे डू सो इन सच ए वे दैट सच ए वे दैट atom gets eight electrons in its outermost shell atom gets eight electrons in its outermost shell or an atom combine atom combines to form chemical compounds when an atom combines to form chemical compounds they do so in such a way that they do 
so in such a way that they do so in such a way that each atom gets eight electrons in its valence cell or outermost cell valence cell also known as what yes, Out so they do in such a way that each atom gets eight electrons in its outermost cell or valence cell outermost cell or are two electrons in the outermost k shell two electrons in the outermost k shell you understand two electrons in the outermost k shell is it okay sai two electrons in the outermost k shell laksha nalana have you understand that is so now what is the three possibilities to get an inert gas three possibilities what by losing one or more electrons to another atom by gaining one or more electrons to another from another atom and sharing one or more electrons with another atom so please all of you right an atom can achieve the inert gas an atom can achieve the inert gas electronic configuration electronic configuration by three ways how many ways by three ways what is the first one ra what is the first one <coughs> by losing one or more electrons to another atom by losing by losing one or more electrons to another atom next what is the second method jayvarshini by gaining or receiving by gaining one or more electrons from another atom next next by sharing one or more electrons with another atom by sharing one or more electrons with another atom you understand everybody so these are the three possibilities of getting Uh, inert gas electronic configuration by every atom so down you have to write this is the example so we can say donating 1 to 3 valence is what chemical donating 1 to 3 we can say it is positively charged ions understand for next 76 765 uh, we can say they are negatively it is not possible to understand it. lose the electrons from 765 because of its higher energy concentration so we can say we will add the electrons for it so that what it is guys they are negative valency so now those who are having only four electrons so either adding or receiving both are same so that is why it will start sharing so that is what it is what it is a sharing electron so we cannot say it is either positive valency or negative valency so this is what you have to understand so is it okay guys so sir, scroll down sir <laughs> yes so now can anybody say what is the valence of metal can anyone say formula <coughs> valence of a metal valence of a metal what we can say ra anybody so valence of a metal is what is valence electron itself yes or no yes sir what whatever the number of valence electrons is present that is itself is the valency yes or no guys yes sir yes so that is what but what is the valence of non metals what is the valence of non metals Non metals eight minus eight minus eight. number of valence electrons in its atom. That is what it is. Okay, so please all of you write valence of a metal is equals to number of valence electrons in its atom. But here also exemption. What is that exemption? Anybody except K shell. Okay, if only K shell is there, then it is different. Is it okay, everybody? Yes. Yes, sir. That is. So please write it. So valence of non metal. Oh, sorry, valence of metals. What is the formula? Daron, valency of metals. We can say what it is, guys, which is equals to number of valence electrons. Number of valence electrons present in an atom. This is what. What is the valency of non-metals, please? Valency of non-metals. 
only KCL is present, then it is two. It is duplet rule. So what is this, guys? Eight minus number of number of valence, number of valence electrons in its order. Number of valence electrons in its order. Is it okay, everybody? That is what it is. Remember. So valence of metals, valence of nonmetals. Is it okay, everyone? Okay, guys. So now, yes, sir. Now, these valency again two types. Ra. How many types? This valency again we are going to make it into two types. So this is only very important for class tenth also. Okay. So this valency again by so you you might be noticing the atoms. Some atoms are receiving electrons and some atoms are donating electrons. Very few atoms are sharing the electrons. Yes or no? Please respond. So now. Based upon that, so this valency, we are going to make it into two types. One is electrovalency and the second one is covalency. What is the first one? Electrovalency and the second one is and covalency. So please answer right. So valency is again two types. One is electrovalency and the second one is what, Jayvarshini? It is covalency. Co Okay, covalency. So now understand very carefully if an element combines by the loss or gain of an electrons from electrovalent compounds. What do you mean by electrovalent compounds? Means please remember those who will form ionic compounds. Who will form ionic compounds only by donating and receiving electrons? Means metal and non metal will combine. So one will donate one will receive. So this is what we used to call it as ionic compounds. For third chapter, I have taught you. Do you remember everybody? So by receiving and yes, receiving and as well as accepting, then we can say it is ionic compounds. But both non-metals and non-metals will combine. That is what we used to call it as what? Sharing electrons. So these compounds is called as covalent compounds. What we used to call it? Covalent compounds. Understand? So, is it possible to form by a compound with a metal plus metal? Elmukin? No compound. No, Understand? So, no compound will form. Understand, Maitreyan? Sai? So, metal plus metal, no compound will form. Metal plus non metal. One is donor, another, another one is what, guys? One is donor, receiver. another one is donor, receiver. another one is receiver. Then they will form ionic compounds both are sharing no receiving no accepting and no donating then that is called as covalent compounds so covalent compounds will formed by whom guys non-metal and non-metal and ionic compounds is formed by metals or metal with the non-metal that is what you have to remember so class 10 based upon this one huge concept we will study for board exam also very important so electrovalency means remember if a number of electrons lost or gained by one atom of understanding uh, any kind of element to achieve the nearest inert gas electronic configuration is only known as electrovalency so this electrovalency understanding to a, it is a gain or loss or gain of electrons to form only which compounds guys ionic compounds so ionic compounds also we can say electrovalent compounds what we used to call ionic compounds also we can call it as electrovalent electrovalent compounds. Compounds. ionic compounds also known as electrovalent compounds so electrovalent compounds either it is sharing or gain or uh, loss whatever it is the electrons by this electrovalent compounds is only called as what we used to call uh, electrovalency understand so now if we'll take here and its valency we used to call it as what electrovalency so now if we'll take if any kind of element combines by the sharing of electrons to form covalent compounds, what is another name of covalent compounds? Let me see who will remember. Last chapter I taught you. Covalent compounds also we can call it as what? Pradosh, Maitreyan? 
Coal and compounds. If you are really remembering, you can able to answer. Coal and compounds also we can call it as girls. Molecular compounds. That is what. So that is only we used to call it as. We can say a valency is called as covalency. We can say so that is what a compounds. Also we can say which compounds. Covalent compounds. Also we can say. Molecular compound. Molecular. Understanding. So in this, no ions is present. Yes or no? Ions are ions not present. But in this, what is present? Ra? Ions are present. Understanding. So ions is present here, only sharing. So covalent compounds also we can say molecular compounds. So by sharing of electrons, sharing of electrons only we used to call it as what we used to call it as covalency. Understand everybody? What is to call covalency? We can say so. You can say here, and if you notice it, so electropositivity. What is electrovalency? Ra? Electrovalency means by ionic compounds, either losing or gaining electrons is only wish to call as electrovalency. Yes or no, guys? Please respond. So now these ionic compounds is formed by what? Ra? You should speak. Ionic compounds is formed by what? Monish. Ions. Ionic compounds is formed by what? One donor means metal. Metal must be present. It will donate electrons. Is it yes or no? It will donate electrons. Yes. Non-metal, what it will do? It will receive electrons. It will receive electrons. Yes or no? So receive electrons. So here by loss electrons or by gain electrons, they will turn into what? By loss positive ions, they will turn into what it is? They will turn into negative ions. Yes or no? Darun, can you understand Tamil Selvan? Positive ions and negative ions. So, these ionic compounds, whatever the valency, whatever the number of electrons they will lose, whatever the number of electrons they will gain, this is only wish to call it as electrovalency. So, now here, this electrovalency again we can say two types. One is you can see by loss electrons. So, it is turns into which one? Positive or negative by loss electrons? By loss electrons, positive. positive. So that is only called as positive electrovalency understanding. And by gaining, what we can say? Who is gaining electrons? We can say negative ions. They are negative electrovalency. Prima, please respond. So first of all, write yes, electrovalency. In the formation of electrovalent compound, in the formation of electrovalent compound, electrovalent compound also known as what? Electrovalent compound also known as ionic compound. Water, nobody will respond. So electrovalent compound also we can call it as ionic compound. Please write. Right. Javis, right. now you understand this one? Yes, sir. Right. In the formation of C, but class 10th, it is more important than here. Here is okay, normal. But class 10th, two chapters we will study based upon this only. So that is why be very careful. So we have to learn this. Because even if you present class 10th, if you ask what is electrovalency, they don't know. They will think valency and electrovalency both are same. Even so many don't know what is covalency also. That is also a problem. So that is why you have to be very clear on uh, things. Because 11th, 10th class and 11th, 12th, everywhere it is used to come from this stage onwards. That is why. So, right. In the formation of electrovalent compound, in the formation of electrovalent compound, in the formation of electrovalent compound, also we can call it as what? Electrovalent compound? Ionic compound. Ionic compound, comma, the number of electrons lost or gained by. The number of electrons lost or gained by one atom of an element, the number of electrons lost or gained, lost or gained by one atom of an element to achieve the nearest inert gas, to achieve the nearest inert gas electron configuration, to achieve the nearest gas electron configuration. To achieve the nearest gas electron configuration is known as its electrovalency. 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 Okay. <clears throat> to achieve the inert gas. To achieve the inert gas electronic configuration is known as its electrovalency. 
So electrovalency again two types. What is that? Positive electrovalency and second one is what? Negative electrovalency. So you can write electrovalency is again two types. One is positive electrovalency and another one is negative electrovalency. So positive will buy what? Donating or uh, gaining ra? Receiving or loss? By? Lost. Losing. That is. So the elements which lost electrons form positive ions. Right? You can say by lost electrons, positive electrovalency. So down directly you can write by lost electrons. So that positive ions are negative ions? Positive ions. Positive. Next, by here, by gain electrons, by gain electrons, this is what? Negative wow. ions. That is. Okay. I understand that on this one, Tamil Selvan. Sai. So till here, complete it. So now we will study examples. Meeting is going to rejoin back and we'll study that. So now let us take valency of sodium, valency of magnesium, valency of aluminum. Already we did it, but we'll, we'll uh, do once again. So that is only. So you can take examples also. What is the valency of sodium, guys? Valency of sodium. One. So sodium symbol is what? One, sir. Yeah, one. So because it is two comma eight comma one, which is equals to what? Valency is one. Next, magnesium. If we we'll take two comma eight comma two, so valency is two. 